All right then gang, so the final component I want to show you is the tabs component. Now this didn't really fit into my design anywhere, so I've already made a new file called tabs.html just to demonstrate this and show you how it works. So inside this page, I've boilerplated a new document with the CSS link at the top to our compiled CSS and the CDN to the JavaScript at the bottom of the body. So before we code anything, let's have a look at some of the examples of tabs on the documentation. So on the docs, it's under the navs and tabs section. And on that page, you'll need to scroll down a bit to see the tabs. So you can see that the tabs are a little bit like a navbar with links inside them. And when we click on one of those links, it switches out the content underneath. You can also have a variation of this design using pills instead in the navbar section at the top. Just scroll down to have a look at that. So this does exactly the same as the other, but the design looks a little bit different. We're going to try and implement the first example we saw in our page. So let's go back to the HTML page and you can see I've already created a container with some margin in the Y direction and inside here is where we're going to create our tabs. Now the first thing we need is a nav for all of the little links in the tabs at the top and inside the nav we're going to do a div with a class of nav so it's styled as a nav but also nav hyphen tabs like so and I'm going to give this an ID as well nav hyphen tab now it doesn't have to be this id bootstrap doesn't really use ids to style anything just classes this is just an identifier and you can call it what you want we'll also add the role and that is going to be tab list okay so inside this div right here we need a series of buttons one for each of the different links or tabs if you like at the top so let me paste one in and just talk you through this so we have the button and it has a class of nav link and also this one is active now when it has an active class bootstrap styles it a little bit differently to show this is the active tab you don't have to apply active if you don't want to but by default i give one of them the active tab the first one so this has got an id of nav home tab it's got a data attribute which is saying toggle the tab and also the target which is going to be nav home now i'm going to give something that id in a minute and also over here we have type equals button and a role equals tab and some aria controls aria selected etc and that one says home okay so this is for one piece of content what we need to do though is copy that or in fact i'll just copy a couple more from my repo and paste them in down below like so so we have three buttons now they all have the same classes except for active only this one has active but these two have a class of nav link as well and also they have their own id profile and contact they also have this toggle to say it's a tab and they have the target to say which piece of content we want to show when we click on this button so remember the top one is going to be nav home this one nav profile and this one nav contact so when we click on one of these buttons bootstrap is going to look for those ids and show the content associated with those ids i hope that makes sense okay then so that is the nav right here done now after that we're going to do another div and this div is going to be for the tab content so div and then a class of tab hyphen content like so now also i'm going to give this an id and i'll set that id to be nav and then hyphen tab content like so all right and again this id can be whatever you want okay so inside this now we need our different bits of content that we're going to show when we click on these different buttons right here so again i'm just going to copy and paste a little chunk in and then explain it so let me make some space and paste this in we have a single div with a class of tab hyphen pane so that is a bootstrap class to style this also a class of fade that means it's going to fade in and out when we show and hide it dependent on the tab we click on by default we give it this show and active class because we're showing these originally when we first go on the page the same as this being active right here and then we give it some padding as well now the id is nav home and remember that matches this thing right here nav home okay so when we click on that button it knows to look for this div right here and show the content inside it 
the role is tab panel and then we have an aria labeled by to say what it's labeled by and it's the nav home tab which is this id right here so we're saying this button labels this content and that's for screen readers remember and inside we just have some content any old content doesn't really matter so we need three of these tabs i'm going to paste in the other two as well like so so we have another one tab hyphen pane fade and p hyphen three this one doesn't have show or active though because we're not showing those by default the id matches whatever the target is right here for the second button and the labeled by matches this thing right here the id of the second button same for the third tab pane fane p3 nav contact which matches the target over here i think yep nav contact and then we have the aria label by nav contact tab which is this thing up here where is it the id right here awesome okay so fingers crossed this should all work now if i come over to the browser and i can see the tabs if i click on one of these it swaps out the content awesome so there we go my friends that is tabs in bootstrap 5. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one